Well, today on Nation a Window Cleaning Podcast, we're talking all about how to dominate your market. So if you are in window cleaning or you're just getting into window cleaning, this is going to be a good episode for you to at least hang out, watch, maybe learn something. But either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey, if it's your first time here, thanks for hanging out with us. It is a 30-ish minute podcast that comes out every week. It's been going on for four years. It's everywhere podcasts are. Go back, watch it all, listen, binge away, and then tell me all that you binged. Uh, I know a lot of you are binging right now, by the way. Monarch, I see you commenting on everything, old videos, catching up, so it's absolutely awesome. Uh, But if you are an OG, if you are one of the cool kids... You've gotten the stickers. If you are one of the elite, you've subscribed to everything, including American Window Cleaner Magazine. And most importantly, you uh, put your orders in through me, shameless plug, then what's up? It is because of you. I get to live such an amazingly lavish lifestyle. Uh, I sometimes eat three meals a day. No, I don't. I fast all morning. But anyway... Thank you for everything you guys do. Uh, Thank you for letting me put your orders in. And I want to be your rep. Here is my uh, time to uh, beg for sales from you. Uh, But that's what I do. I am a rep for windowcleaner.com, window cleaning resource. So if you need anything, if you have questions, if you have sales, if you want to buy something, big or small, say you got a $50 order, it's still going to ship free. Let me know. Shoot me a text at 862-312-2026. Let me put the order in. Costs you nothing extra. Hopefully I make it amazingly easy. Plus you get an awesomely cool friend. And I get cheddar for it. So do that. 862-312-2026. And another thing. We're in a huge uh, subscription drive right now for uh, American Window Cleaner Magazine. If you haven't gotten this, this magazine has been out since 1986. By the way, you want to see... Every issue has an awesome um, poster in the center. Uh, this uh, particular one I just picked up, which was September, uh, had a Stevo poster. You want a Stevo poster? Now you got one. It's the centerfold. Every issue comes with a window cleaning awesome sticker or uh, awesome poster in the middle, and of course the sticker sheet. Every single issue comes with custom window cleaning stickers, which are absolutely amazing because. I love them. But anyway, if you want to decorate everything, go to awcmag.com, subscribe, and tell me you got a subscription. It helps me out also. Uh, I own the magazine, so, you know. But anyway, if you want to just uh, get your business to the other level, or this 2022 is the year that you're going to blow it out of the water, let me be your rep. Get the magazine, listen to the podcast, and just be epic, right? Cool. Shameless plugs over. Uh, On to business. This week we're talking about how to dominate your market. Now, I want to preface this by saying you should always be friends with your competition. Always. There's tons of benefits. Having somebody to be able to help you if you get big jobs, uh, not stepping on each other's toes, just being cordial when you see each other, knowing that somebody else out there isn't trying to screw you, but more importantly, just creating a really close group out there in window cleaning. So be friends with your competition, but they're still your competition. Your business, your company, and this is if you want. I'm a god dummy with a mic. It doesn't matter what I say. This is if this resonates with you. By the way, if it resonates with you, come on on YouTube or do whatever and let me know. But if you are in business, you should be the best business you can be. Now, if that means you are the biggest in your area and that's your goal, that's what we're talking about today. I wanted to be the biggest in my area. I strived to be the biggest, most well-known company in the area. And I did it, right? But you may be different. You may be looking and go, I just want to be bigger. I want to be stronger. I want to be more well-known. I want to have more people searching me out. Maybe you want to be the industry leader in your area. That's what we're talking about here. It's dominating your market. Even though 
you need to be friends with everybody, you still may want to be the best. I know I did. And here's just some awesome tips to kind of be the best. The big thing with dominating your market is that you need to make it so that it is ridiculous that anybody shops anywhere else, right? My goal as a salesman or a sales rep or a specialist or whatever you want to call it for Window Cleaning Resource is that I want to be the biggest guy. I want to be the most well-known guy. I want to help the most people. That's my goal, literally. That's why I do so much content. I have the magazine, American Window Cleaner Magazine. I have the podcast. We have uh, lives every day. If you're not in any of the Facebook groups, go back, follow those. I do TikToks multiple times a day, which I hate TikTok. But search me out, by the way. Jersey WCR Nation, I believe it is. Something like that. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to them. Do all that stuff because I want to be able to help you in every way I can. Because what happens with that is if I can provide you with the most amount of benefit or learning, or if I'm everywhere... Then when it comes time to you buying, you're going to think of me. It's almost ridiculous to shop with somebody else if you get so much content from me. And we have a lot of great reps, so don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm talking about. But what I'm talking about is when you get so much and you see me and you do everything and you're learning and you're getting all this stuff, eventually you're like, well, of course. You're my guy, man. You're my man guy. You are my supply guy. And that is absolutely amazing. That's the goal. Same thing in your company is you want to have a company that exists that people look and they're like, oh, XYZ, they're absolutely the best. And it's because you're everywhere. They see you. They know people, everything. And here's a bunch of different ways. First off, the number one thing you have to do is be everywhere. This is a hard one. By the way, this whole thing to dominate your market does not happen in one day of changing some things. It just doesn't. It's, it's, it's a long-term play to build this up. It may take a couple years, but it's a couple years of work, right? Be everywhere. Make sure that you and your name and your brand are everywhere. Make sure that anywhere that you can possibly be posting, you are posting. Don't leave something to fate. Now, when I say that, there's one exception in my book. Uh, well, there's a couple exceptions. Don't do billboards. They don't really work. Uh, don't do radio ads. Uh, you can do them if you get a good deal, but there's ROI is not great. Uh, and yellow pages suck. Don't do that. The people are just turning in. By the way, we just got our phone book the other day, which reminded me. It's like this big. It is like a brochure. It's ridiculous. The last year I did the phone book, which was probably 10 years ago now, close to. The last year I made $201. That's how much work I generated out of a phone book. And we were paying like 300 and something dollars a month. So don't do that, right? But anyway, everything else you want to be everywhere, right? Free things. I don't ever want, even if there's one, two, five, ten customers in one certain facet that, you know, they like to do this or they like to do that. I want to be able to touch them everywhere I possibly can. So be everywhere. It's the only way to dominate your market. And when I say be everywhere, what do I mean? Just think about it. Should I do that? Sure, do that. Some stuff isn't going to get you an ROI, but it builds the brand across all platforms. Golf cards suck. You're going to get a thousand calls from people trying to get you on the back of a scorecard for a golf course. They suck. But if you're trying to get your name out there, it's one place to be. Don't expect a return. Be everywhere. With that being said, you may have all the best stuff. Now you need the best SEO. You have to get good SEO. A lot of people focus more on what their website looks like than where it's found, right? You may have a great restaurant, right? You may have a great food at your restaurant. But if it's, you know, in a cave and no one finds it, no one's going to eat it. It doesn't matter what the decor is. It doesn't matter what the food tastes like. No one's going there if they can't find it, right? Right? You may have the coolest looking billboard, but if you put it on the back of a building in an alley, there's like three people going to see it, right? So don't as much focus on the look of your site, focus on the SEO. The SEO is search engine optimization, and it's how people find your website. The internet is bigger than you can possibly fathom. So when you create something like a website, 
and you put it out there, in your brain, you're like, oh, yeah, man, people are going to love it. But you have to understand that the way that people see that, if they search window cleaning, you're not going to pop up sometimes. If you're not actually getting a little SEO, you're not popping up. <coughs> Excuse me. So what you need to do is SEO. Now, I've talked about it a thousand times. Monk SEO is a great company, but any company you're using, they have to be good. The problem with SEO is when you get into companies, and uh, I've done it and been shafted with other companies is the problem with SEO is some companies are like, Hey, yeah, do this. And, uh, you'll start to see it working in six months. Well, now you're six months down the road. It's still not working. They're like, well, just give it a little bit. It's, you know, and you've paid them six to eight months worth of, of SEO and nothing happens. So find a great SEO company. The number one thing you could ever do for your company is SEO. I promise you, uh, monk SEO for me, he blew things out of the water. I literally went from no company to the first page of Google in three months. Not saying that that's going to happen to you, but I've heard nothing but amazing stories um, on like just growth and how they've done and just anyway, check them out. Another thing they have is the most ratings. The big thing is, is that when people are searching, remember we're trying to be found, right? We want to dominate the market. We want when somebody searches to find it, what pops up when they search window cleaners near me? A, your website SEO'd, right? B, if you're doing ads, which we'll talk about. But C is going to be the local searches or the maps, right? They're going to pull that up and those are where the ratings are. If you see everybody around you, do the search. Window cleaning near me. Window cleaners near me. Do a couple searches on Google and see the ratings they have. I'm telling you, most companies have like 5, 15 right? You're seeing more and more because that's becoming more and more popular to have. But a big, 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 big thing is for you to be on the other side. If that company's got five, that company's got seven, this company has 12, this company has 16, and you have 413. Well, why would, why? It's ridiculous to go with anybody else, right? So how do you do that? First off, ask. If you ask, people will be more apt to do something if you just simply ask. Hey, we'd love a review, right? There's programs out there like Nice Job. Uh, nice Job is a uh, program that searches out the reviews, right? Customers, I think it's a little bit of work to kind of get it going, but it's absolutely amazing. If you just ask and stay up and do email follow-ups, if you're using Nice Job, they do it for you. If you're doing it on your own, just stay constant with them asking for them. I'd love a review. Hey, we do everything. If you do a review, that would be mean the world to me. That's how we get. Ask. The big thing is, is you're not telling people to review you good. You're just asking for a review. If we did poorly, let us know how bad we did. Right? But if they're going to leave a review or if they're unhappy, they're going to talk to you before they do a review. The reviews are social vindication for everybody else. Reviews are absolutely huge. You need to be the top review person in your area. Because remember, when they're looking at all this stuff, you're number one, you're number one, you're number one, you're number one, you're number one. Why would they choose anybody else? Look at these guys, they're everywhere, right? Have the best SEO for your website and have the most reviews for your company. Those are covering those, right? Another one is to advertise. Paid advertising. I know the paid word is scary, but... Do Facebook ads. Boost your Facebook stuff. Do Google ads. AdWords. You may have really good and cheap keywords in your area, right? When somebody searches, how do they search? 90% of people go to Google and they type in window cleaners near me, right? Like I said, ads pop up. Organic pops up from your SEO. Local listings pop up. The maps pop up. We're trying to dominate, right? And that takes a little bit of dough. But here's the thing. In a normal keywords, check your area. This could vary anywhere from, you know, cents to dollars as far as a click, right? But if you're on there and somebody is searching, your term is window washers near me or window cleaners near me, and someone clicks on it, they're looking for window cleaners. They're looking for window cleaners. You're getting hot leads, people who actually want you, they searched it out to go to your site. Absolutely 
absolutely the best. If you're doing all these things, you're everywhere. They see the ad. Maybe they don't click the ad, but they see the, the 500 reviews you have. Well, they click that. Maybe they see your website pop it up first on the organics because they see that one says sponsored, one doesn't. You're going to be everywhere and dominate your market. You're just going to. So make sure you're spending a little cheddar going towards that type of advertisement. Your best bang for your buck will always be SEO first. Second will always be ads. Ads will be more expensive than SEO. Uh, it won't quite yield as much, but they will yield hot leads every time. Another thing to add to your site, remember we're advertising, we're pushing it out there, we're paying the advertisement, we're getting SEO. We want people to go to our website because it's selling things, right? Almost everybody will find you through the website. Get responsive. It. Put responsive it on that. Responsive it's amazing. It's a program that is a bidding software. Um, get just get the software, put it on the website. It does all that. I get leads, I get closed jobs where people are like, yeah, I want it at like 3:15 in the morning. It's nuts. You want to be ready. You want to get them while they're looking for it. That's where SEO is. That's where your ads are. And then when they get to your website, they're hot, they want it, they want to do it now, get them into something like Responsibid, and the whole thing closes without you even having to lift a finger, right? Add that on. Another thing when we're talking about what to spend money on, do EDDM. Now, for all of you who say EDDM does not work, I am 99% sure you did that wrong. Now, don't take offense, I'm sorry. Uh, by the way, if you want to text me about how I'm wrong, 862-312-2026. But hear me out, hear me out before you text me. EDDM works by blanketing an area. It stands for Every Door Direct Mail. It's a U.S. post office program. When you drop these postcards, if you take everything and you go, I got 5,000 of them, and you send them all out, you go, yeah, that's not going to work. Your ROI is going to be so garbage, you may not even return an investment on that. The way EDDM works is repetitiveness to build up familiarity. So what you do is you take a postcard. Say you have, we'll say for even numbers, um, 6,000 postcards. That means you're going to send 2,000 different people the postcard three times in three weeks. So week one, you send to 2,000 people. Week two, you send the same card to the same 2,000 people. Week three, you send the same postcard to the same 2,000 people. So you're only touching 2,000 people, but your ROI, meaning how many people of those that actually call you, is going to be way higher than if you did it one time. Like, ridiculously. Every time you do it, it's better and better. If you take everything... You uh, blow your whole money load money on that. At one time, you're going to lose, and it's not going to be good, and you're going to be like, EDM doesn't work in my area. Absolutely does. You just have to do it right. Do EDM. It does cost money. It is cheap as far as per piece. You're talking about 20 cents postage, say maybe five. You're talking about maybe a quarter per piece. A quarter per piece that's cheap but you're blanketing an area right every area that i've done carrier routes have some area i'd be like oh well that might not be that great but these ones are good right focus on your areas focus on your avatar your your target area and eddm them eddm is like getting your piece your information in front of them get the card done right it has to be split tested if it's not split tested get a um, uh, template, get a template from us. We have templates at windowcleaner.com. If you want to do the EDDM, we have it. We even do the printing. But get something that you know is going to work and you know is going to resonate and get a good result or return. Send it out. Do it. I'm telling you, you're going to be absolutely happy with it. For sure. Right? Another thing is I'm a huge fan of home shows, garden shows, uh, any kind of show where you have people who are homeowners that go. Now, it's time consuming, right? When you do a show, it's minimally going to be three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, of you standing around and talking to people, but there is no 
better way for you to get in front of people live and real and in that amount. We've booked 50, what do we do? I don't even remember. Over It was just over $50,000 in new work from one show. Like, that's absolutely phenomenal. That was one show where we had a bunch of people. It was, a, it was a very large show. But you can book new work, but you can also get in front of people. Even if they don't book with you at the show, you're giving them information. You're introducing yourself. Who better to sell your company than you? They want to meet you. Be a real person. Home shows, trade shows, garden shows, that all does it, right? There is expense. You're going to have your booths and your material and all that, and you're not reaching, you know, a million people. But you can, depending on the show, reach 10, 20, 30 thousand people and they're all in your area and they're all homeowners or planning to be homeowners right people usually go to home shows because they're homeowners right who's at home shows window companies roofing companies remodelers all the stuff because they got a home they want to go see what stuff they could do for their home why not be the guy who says hey window cleaning is more affordable than you think and it's absolutely amazing. We take it away from you. You don't have to spend time wasting your time to have a job done mediocrely. We do that, right? You're going to tell people what you do, who you are, give them the information, and book stuff there at the show. Another thing, you're just touching these people everywhere they possibly can. With that being said, make your trucks, vans, whatever. Make them eye-catchy. One thing that I see is such a loss, is such a failed opportunity. It's such a failed opportunity. And that is the um, truck that has a single color vinyl that's this big. I have a couple people in my area like that, and I don't mean to call you out. I just don't. But a big thing is that when you have somebody who is putting such a small bit of their, no one's reading it. Unless the truck's sitting in their driveway, they're like, who is here? They'll read it. Make it eye-catchy. Yes, vehicle wraps cost a couple bucks. True. But they're absolutely worth it when they're eye-catchy. They get people to look. And again, we want to be everywhere. If you can get people to see that as they're driving, and even if they just see window cleaning in your logo, but the vehicle is catchy, they're going to read it. You almost always will read what a fancy full wrap vehicle is just to kind of see what it is. And that's your opportunity. If you lose that opportunity, I even know guys that don't have any markings in their vehicles. You're losing an opportunity to be everywhere. My first vehicle, the whole truck, cap, everything was done up in vinyl. I had one truck. Super proud of it. Very basic. Looking back on it, I did a lot of things wrong, but hey right? I had people, and the first time somebody said this to me, I was in business for six months, maybe. And I had this work truck and I had it done up and I had a lady and uh, we happened to be talking and she says, um, uh, she goes, wow, you know, uh, I knew you guys were the right company to call. Uh, you are everywhere. I've seen all your trucks there. Your trucks are all over the city. Trucks. I didn't tell her. I was like, oh, wow, well, I'm, I'm glad you gave us a shot. You know, I really, we're going to blow you away. We're going to blah, blah, blah. I gave my whole spiel. But in my brain, I'm thinking, we have one truck. We have one truck. But our truck was done well, meaning people saw it. Meaning that she's seen it multiple times. It just happens to be we're driving. But if I didn't have any logos, I would have not gotten noticed. If my logos were not eye-catchy, I would not have been noticed. If she sees it and thinks we're all over town and I have multiple trucks, it is because she's noticing the truck. Make it be noticeable. If you're noticeable, you're you're instantly the guy that, that they want to go with, right? Remember, we're trying to make it ridiculous. We're trying to make it stupid to go with anybody else. Like, of course we're going to go with you. Be everywhere. Right? So another one on all of that is to donate. And this is a one that uh, people may not see a ton of benefit from. But it helps you and it also helps cover the area that you want to 
uh, again, be everywhere. But every cause that's there, right? I used to donate to every single com- place that would come to me and say, hey, I uh, have a silent auction for, you know, cats with, uh, you know, six toes or whatever. Cool. Here's a $200 gift certificate. Donate, you know, put it out there. I usually even would do two. Especially the big things. Now, here's the thing with PR. PR, public relations, by the way. PR is amazing because you will contact people, but may not be everybody. Say the local library was egged. There's an opportunity. As soon as you hear that, you contact them. Hey, we're a window cleaning company. We're going to clean your windows for absolutely free and get right out there. Beat everybody else out there because guess what? When the news is there, if it's a story in the paper or, uh, you know, the, the, the no matter what it is, you're getting PR by doing that. People will notice, even if you're doing it for free. Do it out of the kindness of your heart. That's awesome. But you're also going to get some benefits from that. If there's big things, if you do pressure washing, there's a lot of that too, right? Big stories in your town, a lot of times you're able to find the spot that you can help, right? You really can. You can find a spot that you're able to help. If you do, give away your time for free. All you're doing is paying the time for the employee, right? You're not losing $100 an hour. You're only losing the the $15, $20 an hour you pay them. And is it even lost when you think that for an entire hour of coverage, an entire hour of exposure, an entire hour of just being awesome, it costs you 15, 20 bucks, right? That's great. Great exposure. And a lot of people don't snag the opportunity here's the other thing and i've seen a lot of people do this something happens the town comes together and you're part of the town that helps the news is there and all of a sudden you're on the evening news everybody sees all these guys helped just another place it's just another place right there's a a company called serve pro and you probably know them they're big uh franchise they have the green trucks serve pro is when they go and do a big thing. So say um, a situation happens and uh, you know an entire apartment complex catches fire. And all these people, it was, a, it was an elderly uh, apartment complex and everybody, guess what? Serve Pro will send 12 of their trucks, park them all in front and do the work. Because that means that every time the news is talking about it, all the Surf Pro trucks are there. You're capturing that audience. Surf Pro is everywhere. They do a really, really good job with that. Their trucks are all the same. They're all done up well. They're eye catchy because of the colors. That could be you. Maybe on a different scale. Maybe you say, well, how do I help? Read the paper. Watch the news. The local stuff. See what's happening in your town. This may not be an everyday thing. But when it does come up, be fast, be first, and be there. Be present. PR is huge. Because guess what? The little guy may not be there. Well, of course, you know, John's going to clean. But this guy, look at all those trucks are there. He's there all the time. That's the guy I see all across town. They search window cleaners because they see the window cleaner, heard that you did that. Guess what? You also pop up in the ads. Your SEO is on par, right? They get everything And they go with you. Like, to be everywhere is to dominate your market. I know this is going to take a little bit of time. But remember, be everywhere. Have the best SEO. So important. Have the most reviews. Do EDDM and do it right. Home shows, garden shows are awesome. Make your trucks extremely visible, easy to read, and eye-catchy. And do PR. Do free stuff. Donate. I'm telling you, doing all those things and doing them hard, focused on them. Remember, when it gets really, really busy, it's really hard to stay up with it. So do all of that, and I'm telling you, you're going to dominate your market. You know what else helps you be amazing? Other than listening to W0 Nation, it is ordering America Window Cleaner Magazine. 
Get a subscription. Because you're awesome. Also, we have a sticker club. Get the sticker club. You can get one, two, or three uh, different sticker sheets for like four bucks a month. Super cheap. Magazine, super cheap. Why not? It's absolutely awesome. Uh, the magazine's great. You get stickers. You help me, and you become awesomer. Even awesomer than you think you are now, which you're pretty dang awesome. But let me put your orders in. My number is 862-312-2026. That is my cell phone. So text me. Be like, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Let me put the order in. Cost you nothing extra. I make it easy on you. And I get cheddar for it. So I can continue to exist. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for all of you guys that are doing both of those, really, I genuinely hope that you get something out of these podcasts. Uh, 240 episodes check out one other thing i didn't say is steve-o and i are doing a live every other monday on his youtube channel um it is absolutely awesome also it is live so we can talk back and forth but all this content if you're getting anything out of it and you're feel like you're paying me back by ordering from me getting the magazine all that stuff i genuinely appreciate it literally literally makes my day every time i see subscriptions come across every time i'm putting orders in for people every time somebody just texts me like yo your podcast is on point Thank you. Really does. And um, I really appreciate it. So until next week, go out there and dominate your market. But more importantly, be epic.